mantra is that marriage takes work to make it work. So let's mm-hmm. get to work. Mm-hmm. So for a couple who is who is operating optimally, there would be a need. Uh, I guess you could go to a counselor with me, but I'd say there would be a need for a lot of empowerment programs, places where you go to learn. You're reading books together mm-hmm. because people tend to think that when their marriage is working, that they don't need to do much. But the truth is, the world not even it's not even a Christianese thing. The truth is, the world is decaying. My, 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 if you tidy up your room today, it never gets tidier. It just progressively gets untidy until mm-hmm. you put the input to make it tidy again. It's just the way it works. And so with a marriage, even if your marriage is optimal, it's never going to stay there. It's never going to go higher. If you don't put some effort into doing that, it can only go lower. So for couples who have it all, get it going on and all that, I would suggest they read books, do things that tell them what to do, or if they know what to do, do things together. You see, once people have begun to no longer talk about what they're talking about, but be talk, talking about something, but they're really talking about something else, you have, to see, you have to see somebody. You have to. Because at that point, people are no longer hearing each other. And a vulnerable moment for me, it happened to me. So anything you're saying, Oh, don't put the cup on the table, put it in the sink. It's no longer just don't put the cup on the table, put it in the sink or put it in the dishwasher. There's something else on the line right behind that. There are other things that have happened that you're just saying that, but something else is being said. And once people reach there, again, I'll repeat, they're not hearing each other. They're no longer communicating. One person is speaking Mandarin and the other person is speaking Igbo. Or one person is understanding a smattering of Italian and the other person is not. So it's, it, it, it needs a situation where that can be seen. And people will say, but what if the other person doesn't want to go? Because that's what people say, because we come from okay. these things all the time. Then one person should go. Because you see, even a drop of water in the dryness of a marriage can revive it, can begin some kind of rejuvenation.